So verse 18, so we have the Messiah talking. So here's a question on top, though. Did Yeshua claim to be Yahweh? So let's look in verse John 5, 18. Because of this, then the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, according to their traditions, we must add that, but he also called Elohim his own father, making himself equal with Elohim. So this is an accusation from the Pharisees. We have to keep that in mind in the context of this. So, so the so the saying, making himself equal with Elohim, is an accusation from the Jews or the scribes and Pharisees. So how, how did the Messiah respond to this accusation? He, he responded in verse 19, next verse. Therefore, Yeshua responded and said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son is able to do none at all by himself, but only that which he sees the Father doing. Because whatever he does, the Son also likewise does. I know you got some commentary on this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for example, they accused him of breaking the Sabbath. Uh, well, if the Pharisees accused him of breaking the Sabbath, are we going to accept that too as, as the as the truth? Or are we going to take that as what? An accusation. And yep. so also they accused him of many things. And what you do is you do a great job explaining that it. it's an accusation, right? But not only that, uh, when, the, when the father gives the son certain authority of power and rank, he does have a lot of the power that Yahweh has. He's given the power to forgive sins, to resurrect the dead, to, to judge, to be king, right? When Solomon and David and, and the kings of Israel sat on the throne of Israel, you know what the throne was called? The throne of Yahweh. They were representatives of Yahweh on earth as the king of Israel. They were the mouthpiece and the representative. But they sat on the throne of Yahweh. Should I include them in this triune formula? Or should I entertain the idea that although they have that equality of judging Israel as the representative on earth for Yahweh as the king of Israel, why can't I apply that to the Messiah, who's even greater than Solomon and Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and David? He's given much authority from the Father. But he says, I don't do anything on my own accord. I simply do what the Father tells me. So again, he's an agent, but he's given that badge, yod heh vav -Heh badge on his chest to represent ah, Yahweh. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Good explanation. We might get into agency and authority later. <laughs> so is Yeshua equal to Yahweh? You want to read that one on top, brother? Uh, yeah. Yeshua said to her, woman, why do you weep? Whom do you seek? Thinking he was the gardener. She said to him, master, if you have carried him away, say to me, where are you put him? And I shall take him away. Yeshua said to her, Miriam. Uh, she turned and said to him, Rab Rabbanai, which means teacher. Yeshua said to her, do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brother's. And say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my Elohim and your Elohim. So let me emphasize before I read the other two verses. Yahshua says at the end of verse 17, John 20, my father and your father and to my Elohim and your Elohim. So he's calling the father Elohim, his Elohim. So six chapters earlier, John 14, 28, we see similar language. Yeshua talking again. You heard that I said to you, I am going away and I'm coming to you. If you did love me, you would have rejoiced that I said, I am going to the father for my father is greater than I. So this is this verse is very detrimental to the co-equal part of the Trinity. And then Paul says in 1 Corinthians eleven three, and I wish you to know that the head of every man is the Messiah and the head of woman is the man and the head of Messiah is who? Elohim. The father is over the son. They're not equal. So co-equal is not scriptural. It's time to let go of these pagan traditions of men, brothers and sisters. And if you can't get rid of the Trinity just yet, at least acknowledge that they're not co-equal. And so then you could at least be a monarchical 
Trinitarian, where you do believe that there is a hierarchy between the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, because I'd rather you take baby steps towards the right direction than to reject the whole thing because, you know, you can't swallow the whole pill right away. I get it, man. I get it. Took me weeks to understand that Trinity is not biblical. So I'm trying to be gracious and patient and kind to anybody else. But who am I? I didn't know the Sabbath till I was 30 years old, thanks to the Ruach. So I want to be as gracious and kind to anyone else out there who's listening. Look at it and ask yourself, is this a co-equal being who says that the father's greater than I? How would we like it if the father said that someone was greater than him? We'd have some serious problems. I mean, if we think that there is a, the father is the most high and Yeshua is the most high, it doesn't make sense. How can you be most high and then say someone's greater than me? 